about Kevin Durant. Because I say what I mean and I mean what the hell I say. My issue is one issue and one issue only. It's not him leaving Oklahoma City. It's Oklahoma City. No disrespect whatsoever. But damn it, outside of the basketball arena, I can't think of anything to do in Oklahoma City. That's just the way it is. We're talking about a dude that was 48 minutes away from a birth to his second NBA Finals in his career. Not once, not twice, but three times. Three! Who was the reigning defending NBA champions already having proved they could win without you, that they don't need you? That's who you join? That team? If Draymond Green didn't get suspended in five games, chances are and the Golden State Warriors would be reigning two-time NBA champions. Because what would have happened in game five before Cleveland gathered that momentum? That was also when Bogut got hurt. When you look at it for what it is, this is who you choose to join? You riding a gravy train. You jumping on a bandwagon. You're jumping on their coattails to do what some would say you should have done on your own already. I just know like that today, if I hear one more damn person bring up comparisons to LeBron James leaving Cleveland to go to South Beach. When LeBron James and his 61 win team Cleveland Cavaliers lost to Orlando in the playoffs to Dwight Howard and Hito Turkoglu and Mikel Petras and Courtney Lee and Ray for Austin. When LeBron James and his Cavaliers lost to that team. Do you know who his teammates were? How about Daniel Booby Gibson? How about Anderson Varaja? How about Zadrunas Ilgorskis? Are you serious? I even had my man A.I. Allen Iverson call and rap to me. Why are you getting on KD like that? I mean, damn, Steve, uh, Stephen A., he tired of losing. I can't blame him for that. And this is the analogy I threw out to A.I. In your case, A.I., it's the Indiana Pacers. That was your nemesis back in the day. Remember that? Or it could have been Boston with Paul Pierce and Antoine Walker, whomever, whatever it was. Not him choosing to depart from Russell Westbrook, A, because they haven't won together, B, because most people didn't think they would win together, and C, because we all know Russell Westbrook is going to leave after next season. If I'm Stan Presti in Oklahoma City Thunder, I'm trading Russell Westbrook now. I'm looking to move him now. And if not now, definitely by the NBA trading deadline because I don't want to find myself in the same situation next summer that I find myself in now where I'm holding on for dear life for a superstar to stay on board only to lose him for nothing. Dwayne Pickering, what about the Knicks? What about him? Do I look happy? You know I'm a Knicks fan. Don't get on my nerves with that. I'm pissed off.